Hello YouTubers, Jordan Blakey, Liver Flush Man here. Today with an amazing video here on the Oregon grape. The Oregon grape right here. Alright. As you can see it's got a lot of berries here. Those ones are not quite done, they're still green. The ones that are ripe and ready and mature are the are the blue ones right there. Very much looking like a blueberry. Here's a nice big plump one right there. Wow, look at that beauty right there the Oregon grape root all right and it's a beautiful taste um, tastes very much like between a blueberry um, and um, what else would it be well it's a little it's slightly a little bit sour all right it's uh, very strong uh, a little bit slightly bitter um, very very potent. Now look at this tree here. Look at or this plant here, this bush. Look at the the amazing amounts that are going to be coming off of this in the next little while here. Now I'm going to harvest this here, and we're going to make uh, with this video here. We're going to make a durian, young coconut, and Oregon grape berry um, smoothie here. This is going to be awesome. Wild berries here of the Oregon grape. All right, so look at that nice bit here. Let's celebrate with this amazing discovery of this bush here, right here in the wild, wild edibles. Mmm, and that's the real life force in there. Life-giving force of nature. All right, so I'll just uh, harvest these up here. And um, so many good ones here. Such great, perfect quality. Um, these are really, really good at this time of the year, which is the late spring, early summer. All right, just super good quality here. And um, nobody really eats these here because uh, they, 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 they don't know that they're edible or think they could be poisonous or don't know. So. I'm here to teach you or anybody that wants to know uh, that these are actual edible berries and they're very very tasty and very very healing very very potent uh, healers for the body All right, they contain many many antioxidants dozens of different kinds of antioxidants including vitamin C including um, What else we got? Um, well, they got vitamins A, they got vitamins E, they got. Um, I don't know all the antioxidants, but berries are one of the most powerful antioxidants with the most antioxidants, more than uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, berries uh, contain a lot of antioxidants, as well as anti aging properties, which are what antioxidants are antioxidants give extra electrons to um, the cells of the body and, and give this, the, the mo molecules of the cells more stability. All right? uh, the opposite of the uh, antioxidant is a free radicals or carcinogens which take electrons from already stable molecules and, um, and they cause the instability of the cellular uh, structure of the body, the cells of the body, and that causes entropy and aging and can lead to disease quicker and faster than uh, antioxidants. Some of the big time uh, free radicals, um, uh, carcinogens, are will be tobacco smoke with all the chemicals and additives and preservatives that go into those that are highly addictive because you know partly um, what what what's so addictive is is the sense that you know you are slowly killing yourself as you do it and somehow that gives you immediate satisfaction in the moment now the problem with that is that later down the road in the future in the future the problem is is that uh, you're not going to live too long 
and you're probably going to die of lung cancer or some sort of cancer in the body because the statistics in this world today in 2014 is that one in four people have cancer now one in four people so that's 25 percent of the population of the world so by having a lot of antioxidants like these berries as well as blueberries and strawberries and goji berries and all the different varieties of berries is uh, you're, you're going to help uh, with the anti-aging and, and, and help uh, you know help with uh, getting rid of that cancer all right so uh, we got quite a few berries here I'm going to keep harvesting them a bit more um, and uh, I'm so excited to go home and make this durian young coconut organ grape uh, berry smoothie as far as all the all the organ grape uh, little plant bushes I've seen so far over the years this one has the most berries I have ever seen like I, get, I can't believe I'll have to come back in a, in a, in a, in a week or something and, and just come and get a whole bunch of these and put them in the fridge and uh, and make smoothies for a couple weeks um, and a little bit goes a long way in the raw food world here and this is a true life food here the organ grape and life food is uh, is is the next level the raw food it's beyond raw and we're going beyond life food as well this is for those raw fooders or people just wanting or curious to learn about life food please check it out uh, the YouTube channel lifefood.tv www.lifefood.tv every single recipe in that in that uh, on that channel will be a 100 percent life food and if I find any ingredient that's not I will be taking that video down because I want to maintain the integrity of a true life food diet and what it means to be a true life fooder and to be a true life fooder you're gonna have to be a true raw fooder which means a hundred percent raw fooder for a couple of years three or four years before you can be a life fooder because just like anything like juggling um, you aren't gonna juggle seven balls before you can juggle four alright so it is a process and a journey and it takes discipline, will, power, and focus, and determination, and it and it also goes. It's also um, going against the mainstream and, and going against the grain, and being a leader and not a follower, uh, not a sheep, just following the rest of the pack. It's about being a, a wolf, and it's about uh, paving the way, all right, for others, for other healers, and for the planet and in general because without health and without health uh, what do you really have you, you you don't have anything because you're not going to live too long and, and 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 so your life is over so life food is about embracing life and in the, in the land of the the light and the living all right life begets life and death begets death so eat life and you become life. All right, we got lots of berries there, and um, and there's a lot more of these trees, or sorry, bushes here, are almost trees. Now these ones have not, uh, they their berries are are have not uh, ripened yet and have not turned even blue. So it's amazing to see how one bush can do so much better than the rest. Now maybe it's a different variety but I don't think so now here's another good one look at these guys as well I'll do a little more harvesting here perfect timing here the battery is almost gone out on the camera so I'll just harvest what I can here and then uh, we'll see you back at home so I'll do a little bit of talking about life food first life food is only food that contains a powerful life force also known as an aura or energy field emanating off of the off of the food now this aura this life force can be seen and measured through Kirlian photography which is 
the ability to see this life force that comes off of the food. And um, the way that is done is by taking high voltage between 5 and 15,000 volts, running it through a metal plate, and then putting a glass plate over top that approximately half to one and a half inches above the plate, placing your food on top of the, the, the glass plate, and then uh, taking your camera and, and, and putting the exposure on um, so that it, the picture is taking over a, a period of a, a 30 seconds to a couple minutes. And then what happens is the interaction with the life force of the food uh, reacts to the um, voltage, the high voltage current coming through the plate beneath the glass plate and that aura will show up on the Kirlian photography. Now I'm, I will be making these and I will be teaching how to make one as well. They can be dangerous because you're talking about high voltage as well. So it will be very safe uh, tutorial on how to do it as well as what potential dangers and what risks and what to avoid. And as with all the videos that I make that uh, potentially people couldn't get hurt, there's going to be disclaimers on all of them. And uh, only attempt it if you're willing to risk, run the risk of getting hurt. Alright, but um, in any case here, this life food, this, uh, the the uh, life force found in life foods is powerful. Now, not all raw foods contain life force. They contain all raw foods contain some life force, but in order to be a true life food, it has to contain a certain amount, a high life force, a high content of life force. Now, some some raw foods that are not life forces, I'll talk about them. They would include bananas, all right? That includes carrots and beets. Now, just talking about those three. Now, carrots and beets in themselves are really, really good still, of course. Um, carrot juice is good for your eyes. It's got the antioxidant beta-carotene for the eyes. All right, now, Carrots and beets, and beets is also a very powerful liver cleansing. Um, beet powder, beet juice um, has been known as an amazing uh, liver cleansing um, vegetable. And um, But the thing is, is carrots and beets are very high on the glycemic index, which has to do with sugars and starches. All right, And those tend to degenerate faster because... Um, they they can they can um, they break down in the body faster and degenerate the cells all right and they can cause more of an acidic body which is further degenerating for the body and these starchy and glycemic foods have less of a life force now that no so that takes care of the um, beets and the carrots and not being a life food and far as the bananas go bananas are also not a life food and um, they have a, not a very powerful life force and um, they but they do contain um, serotonin uh, which is um, generally produced and secreted by the pineal gland and um, the serotonin is a like a mild ecstasy it makes you feel really good it's also really good for your brain for brain health so why do monkeys like bananas? Well, they're probably wanting to evolve their brain, right? They probably like it. It's also sweet and nice taste. It goes really well in smoothies as well. I often uh, have the durian, young coconut, and bananas smoothies or shakes, and um, and those are really good. All right, so it does not all about having to be life food either. But as you refine your diet more and more you will start eliminating eliminating foods like carrots and beets naturally because you will develop the intuitiveness in your body that they're not really true life foods. Now there are still times you will need those foods um, because they do 
they do really good things still like I said the beets are amazing for cleansing the liver and the carrots are, are very good for the eyes they all contain beta carotene and they still are raw foods so they're still awesome and they got amazing healing powers for certain things at certain times all right so intuitive eating is is what I like to um, share and, and, and talk to people because a lot of people could get stuck in a thing where you know when I did the hundred percent raw food diet it was I really pushed myself and challenged myself and that that caused a certain amount of stress on my body and my mind being so disciplined worth a hundred percent raw food diet for those many years now that will get easier for people as more and more people do it because when you live in a world of fast foods and nobody else is doing a hundred percent raw food diet it's a lot harder and more stressful on the body and the mind because you have no support all right you have you have no frame of reference with the rest of society and and even family and friends potentially too like the most of my family were not doing the raw food diet um, not my brothers and sisters nor my mom but my dad has been doing the raw food diet for over 10 years all right he's been paving the way and not just the raw food diet but many many other things way way beyond the raw food diet and um, so I, I luckily have an amazing dad that uh, has helped me be able to get to where I am today. Actually, ah, some of these ones now are so good. Here, we could even speed up the process here and just take a whole clump because there's only a few that aren't aren't ripe there. So, in that case, that's not such a bad idea. After all, it's going to save a lot of time. Look at that. Almost all all ripe, mature ones there, and a couple of these branches here. So another one here. Look at that one. Ninety percent of them. Perfect. And one more here. And that's good. Alright. We got it. Way to go. Here, all these ones will be coming mature and ripe soon. And these are all organ grape as well. huge amounts here but as you can see there was only three or four plants that were producing the blueberries that were mature and ripe already the rest here are still are still uh, got a little bit of time to go there's another good one though We've got another one there ready to go another one here beautiful right there right in there and uh, lots of milk thistle right here, baby little milk thistles. Lots of milk thistle in there, just like a weed. All organ grape here as well, folks. So you go on these little journeys, these little explorations, and you never know what kind of little gems you're going to find like this. What kind of amazing little green ones uh, happening there. More milk thistle all along here. So you just realize that there's abundance everywhere. And, uh, you know, if anything ever happens to the world or whatever, you learn these things, you learn these techniques, and there's more food than you ever knew, right? Right out there in your own backyard. You look in your backyard and you're going to see dandelions and milk thistle, and you're going to see all kinds of stuff that you never even knew was there. Things like this that we looked at earlier, comfrey, yeah, just growing right in your backyard, right? And grab some seeds like this. You got a, hundreds of seeds right there in one second, all right? 
All right, that ends. That concludes this this session here. We'll see you back at home here, and uh, we'll get this uh, durian shake, durian young coconut organ grape shake. All right, cheers.